Isolation Nation, welcome to the Social Distancing Social Club. I had a massage yesterday, and I'm still in it. I feel really good. I'm relaxed. I've got my rose water. Blat out. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's nice. You want some, Henry? You want some? You like it, or you don't like it? He just tasted it, and I think he digs it as well. Everything is good in the world. It's really nice. I've forgotten about the news. Uh, looking forward to President Kanye. All is going to be well. <laughs> Watched Hamilton yesterday, and now I get all the jokes from the day before. So good. <laughs> so good. Um, I don't know how there's not more porn that is doing stuff on I'm not going to miss my shot. That seems like a great <laughs> uh, title for that. And without any further ado, I'd like to introduce the man with the plan, the second leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up a three-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine which hosts this show. Please, welcome Steve Hofstetter. Hello, everybody. I have been trying to fix my fucking mic for a half hour. Is it still bad? It's it's worse now, and you shouldn't try to get the sound check if you can. <laughs> Here with 20 minutes to go, and it's still been a problem. Yeah. Don't put Something this on Steve. With my tech. So, Bowers, take it from here. I'm going to work. Okay. It. Hey, how are we, everybody? Uh, I couldn't get my AirPods to work. Today's been kind of a little bit of a shit show so far. Basically, I love and, and I don't know if Taylor, if you're going out to the regular broadcast or just the Zoom people, but there's a moment where Taylor's like, 15 seconds, seven seconds. Like, we're all like, everything's on fire. Steve's mic's fucking sucks. I can't get my I had a massage. Work. I'm fine. I oh, yeah. Ben, 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 here's the deal. You've spent 70 shows getting used to shitty sounds. So, you're finally through it. You're Zen. You finally did it. So, I'm proud hey. of you. I it's can't easy. hear a word you're saying, to be honest with you, but I'm kidding. I hear you perfectly. I hear you perfectly. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm I, by kidding. the way, the way the way today's going, I'm like, fuck, is my mic not on? So anyway. Bowers, I, Bowers. Yes. Your jacket matches your mic, matches your mics on the art behind you. This is an incredible new vibe. I'm digging you matching. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did this before, but yeah, that was, it, it matched last time too. But uh, yeah, that's why I wore this jacket. Where are you jacket. now? Uh, I'm, at my you? Buddy, I'm at my buddy Todd McComas' house. Uh, he has a studio with his podcast stuff. So we just recorded a podcast today. Uh, we're doing a thing called Doc Heads where we talk about documentaries, which I'll plug at the end of the show. But uh, just recorded a podcast with him, and now we're ready for the show. So are I'm you... excited. Are you not going to be dyeing your hair anymore because America's asking? Uh, you know what? I get back to L.A. on Friday, and I'll probably start dyeing. I'll dye my hair for you one day when I get back. It'll probably does, this, this does this mic suck also? Oh, that's good. It works? God damn. The noise is better. The noise is better, though. It's better noise. We can probably handle you that, that kind of noise. This noise we can handle. I don't like how far away you are and how tiny your head looks, but other than that, you look great. <laughs> I just at risk of, of... <laughs> now, see that's too far that's too far see it's all about it's all about overcorrection there and now you're all fuzzy okay so uh, I get back to Ellie on Friday I'll dye I will dye my hair Friday for you Ben I will I will thank uh, cause you because I, I need my hair dye and I need my head stencil that Chrissy made that makes it perfect so that's and I get a haircut okay. tomorrow before I leave that so was <laughs> honestly TMI BTS right there you have a head stencil yeah, she took, way, paper, uh, she took paper towels and cut it, so she just puts the paper towel on my head and then sprays my hair. It works perfectly. It's yeah, great. And it's a head home. stencil also appearing at the Roxy on Monday. <laughs> right, cool. uh, exactly. Is it still sucked? Does my mic suck? What's happening? Everything's wrong. It's, it's still got a it's shush. It's just, there's a nice shush noise, but we'll be fine. We'll, we'll, it'll be okay. Some of us will go to sleep because it's a white noise machine. But it's, it's quiet enough. You'll be okay. <laughs> Rachel, 
Rachel, how's your tech? Is your tech so, great? Rachel, you good? queen. I'm in a new location. Oh, God. Uh, my upload speed is not great, and Venmo's <laughs> not working for me, so it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, all this means is that society is breaking down and we're approaching the end. I had a massage. <laughs> Fine. Everything is going to be okay. Just get a massage as the world crumbles. Hey, Do they look. touch you with gloves? Do they have gloves on, Ben? Oh, no, yeah. they didn't touch me. No, no, but she was in the room. <laughs> <laughs> she was telling me what to touch, and it worked great. It worked great. <laughs> he, just, he just guided you through your own massage? That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it was really great. It was through it was through Zoom, but it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just imagine Carmel putting different pieces of, of dog treats on your back and then Henry Horse just walking on your back uh, as, he, as he eats and, the treats. And that's different than what you normally picture how? <laughs> well, I didn't picture that a lot. That's true. I just didn't know it was a massage. I thought it was a weird dog thing you were doing, but whatever. That's cool. Uh, so <laughs> that's a massage, dude. Also, I had a threesome last night, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, oops, didn't mean on, to share that on camera, but let's just say they were mature and they were experienced. And <laughs> fantastic. And the one on the left is brown now, which is weird. I don't know what kind of threesome you that had, is, but whatever. That is okay. That is definitely. Not <laughs> What you said, but I get it. I get it, Bowie. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. haters yeah, gonna hate. Haters we gonna hate. That. Yeah, we I know. know. There's salt all over your office. How many haters you got? Yeah, I know. I get it. Or believe that, dude. My <laughs> office is is salted like it's a Gladstone's for fish up in this piece. You know what I mean? Uh, I still don't Rachel, get that joke. <laughs> Rachel, if you can't, can you still not get to the Venmo? Because then I can go get my laptop and do it. I mean, I got it on my phone, so I can just kind of. It'll just take me longer post show. But thank okay. you. Okay, I'm good. Cool. And also, uh -huh. Steve, since Steve isn't here to mention it, um, <laughs> he couldn't make it today. Steve, Steve couldn't be here today. So I'm going to tell you guys that if you would like to support the show, you can Venmo us in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You can PayPal at laughfromhome.com, or you can um, Super Chat us here on YouTube. We prefer the other methods because YouTube is a greedy bastard and uh, lovely people that host us, but greedy sons of bitches. And... <laughs> Uh, that's the, you can also do something on Twitter called Twitter verification buttons where you can tip that way. And, uh, you can also do <laughs> superstars on Facebook, which if you give us a superstar on Facebook, we owe you money. And so <laughs> we're pretty excited about exactly. that. You nailed it, Ben. Perfect. Thank Good you. job. Thank Good job, so Ben. It's like you've, you've, it's like you've listened to the show before. Uh, nope, that's cool. but I do, I show up for the table reads and I was on top of the script today. Nice. Well, we did have a fun overnight game. We had a fun overnight game, which was uh, making fun of uh, that we didn't realize that you could text 484848 to get all kinds of shit. We thought it was just Steve, but no, you can get pizza and beer. Um, so uh, the overnight game was uh, text uh, 4848 or text blank to 4848 to get blank was the game. So Savannah had text first pitch to throw a first pitch with Hofstetter and then bond with Bowers comedy about why, why ballpark hot dogs are so good. <laughs> that was really good. They're so good because they wrap them in the foil and then put them in the drawer so you get hot dog juice in the bun. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, <laughs> Adam <laughs> Meisheimer said, text Jamie to 4848 to get listings of the stores in your area that carry Jamie Kennedy's bone broth. Remember, if it's not Jamie Kennedy's bone broth, it isn't real bone broth. That's true. Uh, that is a fact. Somebody had a picture of you when you were the Night King, and it said, uh, dead? Question mark. Text Glebe King to 4848 for at Ben Glebe to raise you back to, to life with new eyes, small hands, and a live uh, live-in spectrum guy and a new office full of useless crap you'll never be able to get rid of and a box. Who's How the did Night that get on Twitter? <laughs> Uh, I, think, I think Shag Nasty has the the extra. You get 700 characters, apparently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in a picture. That was a Night King. When did I play a Night King? What does that even mean? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. You, you don't think you knew oh. what you were doing. It was the guy with the blue eyes. You just thought he had nice eyes. Guys, I don't uh, even watch my part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl Lane said, text Steve to 4848 for updates on where I won't be touring over the next couple of weeks, which was sad, but funny. Uh, hey, you just text that, and it just goes, uh, it just responds, no. <laughs> yes. uh, Tam had text four eight four eight. I'm, I'm text. Oh, text. I'm ex I'm so excited to be here to four eight four eight four eight for Bowers joke explanations. Uh, <laughs> Carl Lane said. Are you gonna read every single one of them? How many? <laughs> I, always, I always read six. These are just longer. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> 
Text Bowers at 44848 to receive intermittent updates for fast food restaurants in your area. And then finally, Lola had, oh, that was, I'm sorry, that was from Carl Lane. And then finally, Lola had text Savvy to 484848 for savage comebacks to racist, racist comments. And that's for Savannah. Mm-hmm. And those were the overnight games that I liked. I don't know if any of you guys had any you liked. There was one that I liked a lot. I very much enjoyed um, this one from Randy Longmire. Text 101010 to 484848 for the answer to the ultimate questions of life, the universe, and everything in binary. <laughs> I like that. that was- Bowers was like, hey, these are longer, so I'm going to shorten this by only saying 4848 instead of 484848. And that was really the way you got through that a lot quicker. I was trying to do that. Well, actually, I didn't, want, I didn't want to give you that much plug. I didn't want you to. <laughs> I don't even have my sign here. I don't have a working mic. How the fuck am I going to have my sign? No, I don't know. I don't know. You look, you, look, you, look, you just look far away, man. You look, right now, you look like you're on the bench getting ready to go into a basketball game. I don't know why I think that, but. I love that you, that's what your mind goes to immediately. They're like, someone's sitting down, must be on the bench. That's what, <laughs> that's why I sit down, right? That's why he's sitting down. I said, it, you, you, it's like wood. It looks like it looks like maybe a sauna, but you got a shirt on. I don't know what's going on. It just, it's just, yeah, it wants you to take off your shirt. He wants you to take that's off your shirt. That's not what I was asking for. No, no, no. I did not say that. I, he has he lights said, in his office. He will burst into flames. That's not what I'm wishes, saying. He said he wishes that you. We're at Steve Hofstetter's spa and retreat, and then you had your shirt off, and you had just finished a massage, and you were in just a robe. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Bowers just combined my wood background with your robe and just went sauna. Like, yeah. I think that's what just happened. Yeah, yeah. all we need now is yep. cucumbers on Rachel's eyes, and we're ready to go. You know what I mean? Ooh, don't challenge Rachel to get some cucumbers on her eyes. <laughs> They're probably pre cut in the fridge already. Ben, what's today's game? Today's game, you guys, is one we play with the audience, and it's something that's so much fun. So, guys, you want to be part of the fun here at SDSC? Does the isolation nation want to be less isolated? Well, here's your chance. You get to play a game with us. Today's game will be... I'm trying to remember it. Hold on. (laughs) Remember it. Okay. It is headlines from the back half of 2020. What is coming this year? That is not the game. The game was what else could go wrong? <laughs> huh? The game is what else could go wrong. The so, idea so, being so fake headlines six months in, for the next six months of 2020. So the, so we've already had murder hornets and and a civil war and a pandemic and all this other shit. You're saying what's the next six months gonna have? Yep, Steve definitely texted second half headlines and we all loved it. So I don't know why you're saying that is not it. That is the game. I guess my other text did not go through. Uh, uh, it did. You said maybe call it what else could go wrong. but And, he, and what did you reply half, to that one? Oh, I meant sec, I would say yours is better to second half headlines. I didn't see the other part. Point is, you guys. <laughs> point another is, a, a addition of uh, the form of a headline. Steve and Ben rehashed their text conversation from earlier for the crowd. <laughs> that's a really fun. That's what we do every couple days. It's a really good uh, thing that we do here where you can just. I mean, do you guys want to be part of the text thread? We could put, no, you don't want to be. I'm just and trying to have something work out also, by the way. Tell me, please, right now. I'm turning on my original sound. Tell me if this fucks things up or not, all right? This thing's oh, better way worse. worse. Yeah, way worse. Way worse. Okay. It's and also, uh, Bowers texted after that. He said, guys, just please don't share all this on the air. <laughs> <laughs> No one listens that. to me it's ever. Great. No one listens to me ever. It's okay. So that's the game. So like Rachel you know. just texted penis to the group. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, she she said dick, and that was no, to I you said, specifically, Ben. <laughs> audience. That's what I said. Let's introduce the audience. Oh, let's introduce the penis. I will show it's you penis. that she said penis. Look right here. Look right here. Rachel wrote penis. Can you it see it? Penis. <laughs> does say penis. Thank you very much. I know it's a little blurry. I see that blurry. I don't know Ladies why. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful audience with us today. As always, we appreciate our live audience. You are showing us some other stuff now, Ben, on your phone. Great. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, ben, damn. is that a picture of your massage? What did you just show us? <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're happy to have our front row here. We've got Jessica. We've got Shannon. We've got Tam. We've got Frank. We appreciate you all being here with us. As always, the front row is the lifeblood of the show. If you want to join our front row, you can do so. Laughfromhome.com or, of course, on our Patreon. 
You can do that uh, at, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm distracted now by Tam's Patron. <laughs> at, uh, you can do so at uh, patron.com slash SDSC. No, it's patreon.com slash SDSC to, uh, to join our Patreon and get all kinds of cool perks, including being in the front row in future shows and stuff like that. Yep, and we have a new one, Andrew. Andrew joined their Patreon over the weekend, so thank you, Andrew. Ooh, Andrew, thank you, Andrew. You are here. Very cool. We also have two very awesome comedians, as always. We've got Mateen Stewart is here. Say hello, Mateen. How are you? Woo! Ooh, ooh. Hey! <laughs> got it. <laughs> got it. Is my does my mic work too? Yeah, you sound good. <laughs> all right, that's good. How's everybody doing? I'm Mateen, all the way up here in the valley in LA. Nice. Are you in your high school bathroom? Is that what that is? Yeah, this is my this is my high school bathroom. It says just assume you look like shit because uh, there's no mirror here. It's the whole quarantine. You just assume you look like shit. This is what now, I've been like doing that, the whole time. Is that mic dented through a green screen, or is that really just a dented it's, mic? It's really dented. You know when you when you let people use your shit, it comes back like this. Nah, yeah. Mateen just drops the mic so much that he yeah, hits fucking yeah, dented. Yeah. That's, he's just that I, guy. He's a mic drop comic, so that's what I, happens. <laughs> just grip it I to drop Gronk. the mic as my opener. <laughs> <laughs> just, I've never dropped the mic because I've always worked the clubs I owned where I bought the mic. So I don't. Oh yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> never, if you had to buy a mic, you don't drop it. Yeah, that <laughs> might be what drop. happened to mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what happened? Steve just had a great. Great show last night, and he just destroyed his microphone. Dropped his own mic. <laughs> Powers awesome. has not dropped. What's that, Steve? I literally said nothing. Oh, all right. We also have another great comic. We have Davina Joy is here. Say hello, Davina. How are you? Hello. Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing? Oh, woo. I am good. Just got out of bed, so let's do this. <laughs> out of my nap. So, Davina, I got to say, my, Chrissy, my, my girlfriend, helps me with all the booking stuff and she's like this Davina is so fun Every everything she sends me back is uh, emojis and she's so excited she's so fired up <laughs> so she's real excited that you're on the show today she's like she's gonna be it's great actually because so, so I positive. don't know how to write English so emojis really <laughs> help me to express myself <laughs> <laughs> that works that works I'm excited I'm excited you're here I'm excited for the day we're gonna have a good time Rachel we got anything coming in before we get rolling here no <laughs> like no we don't of course we don't <laughs> well if you guys want to tip the show you can do so top right of the screen is our venmo you can paypal laugh from home.com or of course you can super chat on youtube i'm sorry for being derelict in my duties early we did have a tip come in yesterday uh for the show so andrew reeves who might be the new patreon 45 dollars and said thank you for doing these shows oh, well, rachel you, do you want to catch us up on the tips from the last 75 episodes no. <laughs> Fair enough. We know show yesterday. We actually probably should do that. At the hundred episode, we'll just we'll just we'll just aggregate everyone's tips and just see and just tell you who tipped how much for the whole the whole I run. Quit. Yeah. <laughs> the most money. Or do you want to do the math on that? That would be a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. She It'd be real life. accurate too. <laughs> wow. Okay. Shots fired. That's fired. So, uh, yeah. Well, what? Okay. Do we want to get to a comic? Let's get to a comic. Fuck it. What, let's make that. That'll probably make this go better. All right. So, coming Everything's first. Everything's going great. What are you talking about? I'm talking this about is wonderful. I, we're having a lot of fun. Hey, look, just because you're all relaxed because you got a massage doesn't mean the rest of us aren't, you know. Well, you just ruined off. it by saying it's not going well. Now I'm stressed as shit. I'm going to have to Zoom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to Zoom a prostitute later or something. <laughs> <laughs> you do it yourself. God. You are going to do that anyway. Fine. What's that? <laughs> you were gonna do that anyway. I'm just imagining oh, a Zoom with a prostitute. Now, but now I'm gonna pay full price just to punish myself. That's called, <laughs> a Zoom Zoom prostitution. That's OnlyFans. That's what that is. <laughs> right. I just like the idea that like Ben's just doing all kinds of like horrible habits where he's just like, oh, I'm gonna Zoom with my drug dealer later. And, just, <laughs> and he yeah, just watches the drug he's... dealer sprinkle cocaine. <laughs> he's a great conversation. That guy. That's why I visit him. Just for <laughs> <laughs> Great talk. I mean, they, they do have the best stories. <laughs> oh, yeah. They always have couches that smell weird and there's too much ash and random stuff all over. But they do have good stories. I wish they sometimes wore non-Birkenstocks, but whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, now I know what kind of drugs you do. That's cool. All well, right. I have, so... not, I have not been to an actual weed dealer's place in, I think, maybe a decade now that I think of it. Like, there's just no need anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's because your point. cousin delivers. 
<laughs> Team of the crop gardens, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're going to get to a comic because this is going great and it's going to go yes. even better now. We've had a great time so far. It's going to go even better. We're going to be excited. Here we go. You've seen him on Brain Games on Nat Geo. Give it up for Mateen Stewart, everybody. Woo! Yeah. What's up? What's up, guys? I am having a great time. I am. Um... I have to go back home. I am, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, uh, born and raised. I live in Los Angeles now. And I, I remember when my mother, uh, when she was helping me drive out here, she was like, yo, you know, when, you, when you get out here, you have to be very careful because they have these gangs in LA called the Bloodies and the Cripples. And I was like, mom, <laughs> I think you mean the Bloods and the Crips. And she says, I don't care what they're called, Mateen. I don't want you to get gang banged. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want me to get gang banged either, mother. I don't want to get gang banged. Anybody ever been in a gang bang before? Hey, I'm having one right now. Surprise gang bang. Surprise gang. A Zoom surprise gang bang. Uh, surprise gang bang. Uh, that is the name of my improv group. It's called uh, Surprise Gang Bang. You come to our shows and it's like, yes, and put this in your mouth. And this one. <laughs> Yeah, surprise. Hey. So yeah, I do I do have to go back home. Um because my dad is he's 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 sick. He's uh he's a he's a drug addict, he's addicted to to alcohol, and we have to give him uh another intervention. And the last time we gave him an intervention, it didn't go too well. Like like my dad is is going around Detroit still playing his lottery because he's addicted to playing a lotto. And I was like, why is he doing that? I was like, oh well. He's taking a risk with his life. He is a gambler. He is a gambler. He's really <laughs> addicted to gambling. So he's, he's addicted to gambling, he's addicted to drugs. He's addicted to, to all alcohol. And uh, last Christmas when I went home, we gave him an intervention and it did not go too well. And we, we told him, we were like, hey, uh, we're going to sit you down. And I, I pulled out a letter and I had wrote a letter in a long time. And, it, you know, it's, <laughs> it's so tough to write a letter. I had to ask my brother. Like, yo, can you help me with this? And he's he's kind of <laughs> slow. And he's like, oh, yeah. So I sat down with my mom and my, my dad and all my family, my siblings, and I pulled out my letter. I was like, dad, we need you to stop drinking and, and doing drugs. You have a real issue. And he stood me stood up and looked me right in my face. was like, man, I ain't got time for this white people shit. And he just left. <laughs> <laughs> just left. Like, it was Christmas Eve. He didn't come back to like the third day of Kwanzaa. I'm like, what? Like, he had never walked out of our life ever. Like, when he went to go get cigarettes, he always came back. And he, he left on this because he didn't want to have an intervention. And he was because he said he had time for this white people shit. And, and he's right. An intervention is some white people shit. And if you get, a, if you get offended by me saying white people shit, uh, that is also some white people shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I did. I, I invited him out before this happened, right? Because I, I had filmed this thing for TV and I invited him out to like watch me for the first time do stand up on TV. It's like my big, my big break. And I, I was like, Dad, you want to come watch me do the stand up for this, for this comedy dynamics thing? And he was like, This ain't another setup, is it, motherfucker? And I was like, No, I'm just <laughs> not trying to. I just really wanted him to come out. So now this is another setup because I didn't tell him that I was coming home. So he's been like calling, cursing me out about shit. And, I, and then he'll call me and, and like, yeah, everything is good. I'm like, yeah. And then he'd be like, fuck you, man. Y'all trying to do this shit to me. And it's just, <laughs> it's just very, it's very confusing. I really want to get my father some help. That's what it, what it boils down to. So I'm, I'm interested to see how this is all going. And like, if you, if you follow me on Instagram, you can keep up on Mateen gives his dad a second <laughs> intervention. Thank you guys. My name is Mateen Stewart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great job. Great job. Mateen tip Stewart, jar. everybody. Mateen Stewart, if you want to tip, the tip jar is open. You can do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at laughfromhome.com, or, of course, you can super chat on YouTube. Uh, one of you motherfuckers muted me, and then I was like, oh, my God, my sound is even worse. And I, I, I don't muted know you because it was right. going. So I muted you. Sorry, buddy. It was. No, I just don't. I just honestly don't know what's happening. And I'm freaking out because I, I have been watching the fucking Facebook replay and I don't hear what you guys are hearing. And I'm worried that I'm going deaf. 
<laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, they can't hear it. Through the thing. It's, it's all right. Mateen, very good. I I, uh, I liked your mom uh, thinking you were going to get in a gangbang uh, is fun. I uh, Did he leave? <laughs> Wait, also, by the way, I love that Howard started with that by just going, Mateen, that was great. I liked your mom. And then there well, was like a long pause. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, there he is. So I will say I, I had a similar thing. I was, I was in a strip club once, and the stripper's like, oh, I'm Italian, so don't piss me off. I'll have you whacked off. And I'm like, Mm, whacked yeah. cool, off get it whacked <laughs> off not what you're talking about i don't think <laughs> here's ten dollars so uh i like that also i think it's cool that you're 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 the boy who cried intervention at this point your dad's never gonna trust you again ever <laughs> no no he, he, no he's never gonna trust me man that was quite I'm... a kid storybook by the way did you guys read that the boy who cried intervention it's very <laughs> <laughs> joke I have a friend who we pulled an April Fool's Day prank on many years ago that we were having an intervention and we had all these people in person and then on the phone and we did this fake intervention then revealed that it was an intervention. But that really backfired because seriously, three years later, we had to do a real intervention on it. Oh, oh wow. It was, it took a long time just to convince them we were serious this time. Well, I've actually never, I've never been in an intervention. I've never got, I've it's, never... I've never done one, never been part of one. It's you guys... not fun, man. Not fun. No, it's not fun. Any, any, anytime someone makes me walk more than a mile, I just assume I'm on my way to an intervention. <laughs> intervention? Why, are you, yeah. why am I in the woods? What's happening? No, that's that's actually just... making you walk is the intervention. <laughs> that's what, I agree. No, I think that's what happens. Like, oh, we're going to this super fun party. We walk for like four miles. Like, ah, we got to exercise, Dick. Ah, we're back where we started, which is where the super fun party was. It just was a way to take a lap to get there. But yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know how like people cliche throw tomatoes at, at comics? If you ever throw a tomato at Bowers, it's double <laughs> insult. It's like the worst thing you can do. They're trying By to help the way, my health. Uh, yeah. just, a, just a tech thing, because in case, you know, tech isn't going poorly enough, apparently all of Venmo is down. So if you want a tip, please do so through oh. PayPal or through YouTube. That's why Rachel is having problems getting in uh, to Venmo right now, wow. because apparently, uh, yeah, apparently our money system is being hacked, too. So, if you want to enter in the game of what else could go wrong, you can was do that so. Part of the, was that part of the game? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> my money that power. I didn't know you had that much power to stop. To stop uh -huh. Yep. What else can go, wrong, go wrong? AKA <laughs> headlines for the back half of 2020. Yeah. As people love to call it. Whichever way you want to play, predict some time. shit. Don't make it too depressing, okay? Let's try to make and, it and fun. I, and I like headlines because it's the only book I own. So I'm ready for headlines. I'm excited. <laughs> I, I haven't read a new headline since 98. So I need some new headlines. So I'm excited. Yeah. For this you know, some people only read the headline of the article. Bowers actually only reads the first three words of the headline. Like he's. <laughs> hear this? Did you hear this? Apparently, uh, Ford Motor Company laid. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first three words of the headline, everybody. <laughs> That was four words. So, um, but so, thank so you, I, thank you, Tomato J. Lemon. That was fantastic. Ben, I do hey, want to go back. I'm coming right at your face, Bowers. Eat me, Bowers. Eat me, eat me, Bowers. <laughs> I do want to go back to the story where you had a fake intervention, and then the guy needed a real intervention. That's that's so so like he thought you were after him. Like, oh, finally they they're on to me. And then you're like, ah, we're kidding. And he's like, oh, thank God, I can do this. And then he like let himself go even more. He's like, oh, I'm, I guess I'm fine. That actually might have been a. You think you think that yeah. helped him go down the road, or you think he? he... Yeah, we probably accelerated his uh, drug problem by a couple of years there, <laughs> and then uh, oh, eventually shit, his enough. problem got out of control. He was doing drugs constantly, and we had to. Uh, by the way, wait, 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 Mateen, Mateen just said, "Oh shit, it's Jay Leno." I didn't see it. Three minutes into the bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you prefer Conan O'Brien, huh? Okay, sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, they say you can't get better till you hit rock bottom. So, you know, maybe you help that guy. You, you, yeah. you spread him up by a couple of years and maybe. You yeah, we it. had he, he had a little further to fall before we brought him back up. By his I, you know, I, I forgot about this until just now. When I was a kid, there was a there was a store in New York. There was like a chain. It was like a discount store and it was called Rock Bottom. And the idea yeah. was that it was rock bottom prices. And I never thought about it till just now. Like, holy fuck, we would go to rock bottom like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, like that I, is my I, family was like shopping I, there. They were just like, "Welcome, welcome to your rock bottom." Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just know. I, I one time uh, I, I 
just made out with a chick. We woke up the next day and she looks over at me and she goes, fuck, I got to quit drinking. I'm like, oh shit, really? I'm your rock bottom. That's, that's what's happening right now. I'm your story. You're telling a meeting. I don't want to be that oh, wow. guy. <laughs> and then everybody stays in an intervention for her and they make you walk to it. And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I married. That was my second wife. But you know, things went well. <laughs> <laughs> And right after that happened, uh, I turned this mask off and I said, it's me, Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> you should quit drinking, too. Yeah. Uh, and funny. Bowers was like, oh, I got to drink more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome back, Bowers. Hi. What are you doing tonight? Okay, here's my question. Does the filter fuck with your eyes? Because your eyes get so much better when you're a woman. I don't know if it's a <laughs> you have, the filter's doing that. Your eyes pop as a lady, I, and it's freaking me out. I, I definitely had, I had sex with a girl that looked exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was me, Mateen. <laughs> and yeah. that's why after that day, they took the mirrors out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get happy. My tech isn't working very well today. <laughs> Mateen, was that one? Of, that was one of the girls from the gangbang, I think, that yeah, your mom yeah. was worried about. The, the, surpri the surprise. <laughs> Listen, I don't call it a gangbang. I call it just, you know, why? More, why not? <laughs> that doesn't call it a gangbang. He calls it a group project. Group project. <laughs> Those some big Teamwork. hoops, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dolphins jump through them. Also, <laughs> I always say teamwork makes the dream work. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rachel, do we have any tips or does that not work anymore either? We, we, we do, but bless our, uh, our fans. So the ones that only have Venmo, they said that they're tipping after the show or when Venmo comes back. So okay. thank you guys for that. We do have um, Jess in our live audience uh, sent Mateen $25 and said- oh, wow. Mateen, when I moved to New York, my mother asked me how long it would take to get a gun license. She thought I was living in the movie Escape to New York. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a gun yesterday. What? What? Yeah, a BB gun for a sketch. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks real. Nope, 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 nope. Don't, nope, hold nope, that up in front don't of show, window. don't show that on camera, please. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? Plus, plus, don't hold it up near the window. Uh, it's a prop. You know, LA. <laughs> I, know, I know it's a, I know it's a prop, but YouTube don't give a fuck if it's a prop. Okay. Okay. You can't show guns on YouTube. There are things that will get channels demonetized. That's one. Showing on. a right. gun. Yeah, on a on think? a comedy channel that does not have yeah, it's we, we, I can go into the explanation of it. It's incredibly boring, but we can also move on. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Mateen, what, you're also what, like the what seventh, could go wrong? You're like the seventh or eighth comic we've had in the last couple of weeks from Detroit. What is it about Detroit that makes all everybody move to LA? Oh, look at those. <laughs> <laughs> those are pickles. That works. Detroit. All right, this show's been going so long that it started with cucumbers. <laughs> they got pickles. <laughs> <laughs> or How do your eyeball covers taste, Rachel? They're too, sour. They're, they were too big. They're too big. <laughs> they were too big. <laughs> those were not. Those were not no, they were slices. How can it be too big? They were thick. <laughs> <laughs> they, I think Rachel just made a soft confession. <laughs> yeah, she, is she okay? <laughs> Choking They're too the thick. I can't fit them in my. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're like this pickle. Is <laughs> this has turned into a. This has turned into a gangbang. Yeah, and it's too <laughs> Just tell you this, Rachel. You might have just given yourself some good luck with the with the p pickles on the eyes because many moons ago we did a commercial for Idiot Test where there was a young actress that was kind of like like a glorified, not a glorified extra, but like a bit player in this commercial where um, it was a spa, it was the Idiot Test Recovery Center. People, after they played the show, they were emotionally traumatized and needed to rehab at kind of a spa. And there's one woman in a robe kind of like this with cucumbers on her eyes. I took <clears> the cucumbers <throat> off. I ate the cucumbers. And that woman became Yvonne Orgy, the star of Insecure. And things have taken, she's on two shows now. So just I, wait. I'm, I'm guessing she was already her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so but, but ben what you're saying is if you if you eat fruit off someone's eyes they will become famous that's the point you're making fruit or vegetables that's correct okay all right well that's i will never be problem. famous then well i guess you're eating oh, vegetables, so i could be famous yeah i'll put the vegetable i can put vegetables on my face i just can't eat them that's nice of you to offer very so. nice of you to offer <laughs> we also had a couple more tips come in 
Um, <laughs> so we had, what is his name? Peter Ansel, uh, okay. six Canadian from a team. And then uh, Tam cool. PayPal $5 from a team. So cool. thanks, Tam. Thank you. Thank awesome. you, folks. Even though our financial system is going to is going <laughs> down and breaking. We appreciate you guys sending what little money is left in the world. <laughs> Speaking of that, have you guys seen this thing on the internet about how there's no change anymore? We're going cashless. Is yeah. that a real thing? What the fuck's yeah. going on with that? Is that another conspiracy theory? I just no, don't no, know. no. They, I don't know what's uh, real anymore. There's uh, there's actually a uh, the banks have been shortchanged. Um, basically, what happened was uh, the the men uh, with lower employees because of COVID can't quite keep up with the demand, and so there's less change being sent out to banks right now. Gotcha. So so we're out of nickels. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Get, get rid of the nickels. It has a plantation on the back. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Sure. I mean, I hate change anyway for lots of reasons. That's one of them. Sure, we should get rid of all nickels. Fucking the dimes, the nickels, the fuck fuck those fuck. nickels. Pennies stay, oh, baby. <laughs> pennies, Lincoln just pennies. Did a good job. Pennies well, stay. We, we, can't, we can't get rid of the penny because then what would a Facebook star be worth? You know, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're doing. They're trying to slowly. That, that's how right wing Facebook has become. They're trying to. The one currency they're trying to supplant is the penny. Penny. <laughs> Preserve the penny. Yeah. <laughs> Penny's the guy? Yeah, we'll just replace all the Confederate statues with the penny. <laughs> Tastes the same. Yeah. What? <laughs> you ever wonder if whoever's like a statue, they taste like pennies. Whatever. What? You ever licked a statue you just said? Yeah, yeah like the Liberty did. Bell. You ever licked the Liberty Bell? Like that's that that's what? The I'm pretty sure the Tastes world like agrees that no matter what your political beliefs or your beliefs in social justice are, if Bowers licked the statue, it should come down. We all agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if you get groups like the Proud Boys, I bet you could make them start licking the Liberty Bell by just being like, oh, nobody should lick the Liberty Bell. That's terrible. That's and they'll exactly be like, no, we, we'll lick it out of freedom. Like, I bet you could convince those idiots to do that. <laughs> Well, I don't like being called an idiot, but yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of hurtful, but you, you didn't go. You never went to Philadelphia as a child and licked the Liberty Bell. You never did that. I went to Philadelphia, went to Philadelphia as a child. From New York a, City, I this is the Liberty Bell. I, I saw the Liberty Bell. I took a, I took like bad child pictures of the Liberty Bell. You know, like the pictures you take when. What? I guess, I guess your parents didn't party. I don't know. My parents were like, go lick it. And I was like, all right. And I went, oh, oh, my God. It tastes like pennies. I think you your parents may have thought they had too many kids or were trying to thin the herd a bit. Oh. Trying to kill you. <laughs> I think, honestly, that story explains so much of how you are today, Bowers. Okay. He, is, he got his freedom from it. <laughs> That's actually oh, wow. what happened. What a weird superhero origin story. Like yes. Freedom Man licked the Liberty <laughs> Bell as a kid. <laughs> And then suddenly he suddenly he wears ridiculous tuxedo jackets. We gotta write this comic book. Maybe that's why I've never been sick. Maybe that's that's the that's right. like the, the fountain of youth or something. You lick the Liberty Bell and you never get sick the rest of your life. Yeah, that's and you're now is. free from healthy food, you're free from exercise, you're free from all the constraints that society puts on most people. You're free from dressing like the rest of us, you're free from acting <laughs> you are now freedom man. Freedom man. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anything to catch up for? We get the next comic, Carol Queen. Yeah, some people are, have just sent through some um, PayPal's, and I'm just trying to see if there's any tips for the comics or if they're all game entries. Um, Which, by the way, while you're doing that, uh, I I love that Bowers is uh, is Freedom Man, and he's at least one of those three things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free. I'm not a dom, but I am a man. I'm two of those three things. <laughs> Okay, that's what I meant. He said, he said, but he did say at least one, so he wasn't wrong. That's true. I am at least one. I'm two. I'm free and a man. I am not a dom. And I'm not. I'm not, not, a, I'm not into that. So it's also not pronounced true. freedom, Bowers, but that's cool. <laughs> <It's pronounced freedom>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were calling me dumb. Oh, I thought it was. A sentence. <laughs> I didn't realize you were calling you me totally, stupid twice in one fucking sentence. You totally <laughs> proved me wrong by. <laughs> <laughs> but I also love now that we know who's on top in your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to be on top for 20 years, dude. No one wants to be on top. What are you fucking crazy? No one just, likes to be on top. I'm saying actually, I can't no. be on top. They'll be squashed. I'm saying if I lay on top of a woman, she dies. That doesn't ben, work. Ben, there are OSHA no. regulations against it. She'll be at the rock bottom if he. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know if Bowers has ever heard of using your arms to hold yourself up. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to yeah. plop on top of the person. You don't fuck like this. <laughs> no, that's how he so fucks. He's trying to tell you. Yeah. He, he calls it the starfish. The starfish. We're being real honest. <laughs> he lays on the bed and I stand up and we bought a bed that's the perfect height. That's really what it works out to be. But I don't yeah, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do push-ups while having sex. Want me to do the worst thing I ever did while the, the, the best Bar- thing I ever did? Bar- <laughs> I'm not gonna Bar- ruin sex with push-ups, you dicks. Bowers has sex by making face down snow angels. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. So ba- <laughs> Bower stands up, Chrissy lays down. You're you're, you're going perpendicular with this? You're going right angle. Somehow you turned a right angle into a wrong angle, my friend. That is- <laughs> Holy well, it works shit. well. It's good. I don't know. I, I, we don't need to keep going into this. No, let, I, we've got some tips. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin tipped Mateen uh, $5 and said, uh, to tip, tip the guy at the front of the gangbang line uh, to use your, fir- your tip first. Yes. <laughs> use my tip first, hard. yes. No one wants to be the last guy to gangbang. That's true. <laughs> It's like the first uh, comic. No one wants to be the first comic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Savannah you Martin, ten dollars. I was called because there was a harassment claim. We will have a seminar. In the meantime, leave Bowers alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let him I will lay. leave free sub man alone. <laughs> And then we had a uh, Shannon Kerr, twenty dollars for everyone who hasn't seen my post. Steve, I walked through all of LAX. You're right, there is no fifty three C. <laughs> you didn't have to walk through all of LAX. You need to go from fifty two to fifty four. <laughs> <laughs> no, she had to make sure, dude. She had to make sure there wasn't some secret fifty three C somewhere. I like, yeah. I like eight, Shannon's intent. Twenty seven, twenty eight, fifty three, twenty nine. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> well, no, I do appreciate that, Shannon. Let me just say, I was one of the couple girls who were 53Cs, <laughs> and let me just say, I loved every minute of it. They were 53C. I'm a, I'm a double D. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> it was one o'clock in the morning. I was doing my best to do due do, do, do diligence. No, I'm <laughs> 53C. <laughs> None. Actually, the old, the old, uh, old Delta terminal. I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know LAX way too well. It's really sad, especially since I haven't been there in four months now. It was my old, <laughs> my old home. You can never go home again. <laughs> <laughs> and then before uh, we get to Davina, the last um, general that came in, it's kind of a game entry, but he said it's a general. D Universe, two bucks for the show, and said Steve, uh, Jelaine Maxwell didn't, won't kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Dan Muggleton had the great had the greatest uh, joke about that. Like when she got arrested, his tweet was like immediate, and he basically said, uh, "Jelay Maxwell uh, got arrested, and uh, you know we already wish her family condolences that she didn't kill herself tomorrow." It was, it was <laughs> something to that effect. It was just it was great. The timing was excellent. Nice. Are we caught up? Yes. All right, we're going to get to our second comic, which I'm very excited about. Uh, she's the creator of Naked and Serious Podcast. Give her for Davina Joy, everybody. Woo! Yeah, what is going on? I'm just wondering if people will start believing that mercury and retrograde affects us. <laughs> Do you guys know that's why everything technological is fucked up, even Venmo? <laughs> it's insane. Uh, I am Davina Joy, one of the members of Surprise Gangbang. Thank you, Mateen, for including me in your improv troupe. Um, I, I always seem to be the one that takes it. I don't know why. Uh, I'm so excited to be on the show. Thank you, Queen Rachel, for booking me because it gave me a reason to take a shower this month so (laughs) (laughs) I feel like Ben's Jay Leno looked like a protester after being brutalized by police was that just (laughs) (laughs) me like that real big black eye over there oh man Uh, I (laughs) that's a face I never want to sit on my god (laughs) Oh. <laughs> he is just so ugly it's disgusting uh, how big is his dick to be famous i always feel like if you're famous you have a big dick and that's why i'm trying to fuck celebrities um 
<laughs> I have never been so grateful to be infertile as I am right now during this pandemic, uh, which I'm not, I'm not infertile, but I just like to tell guys that so they'll come inside of me. Uh, <laughs> I, I know it seems really bad because I could just totally tell them that I'm in birth control, but I want both of us to believe that we're having a miracle baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to get them to stay. I'm like, it's God's plan, you guys, okay? <laughs> oh man, I am so horny. Um, <laughs> I am so horny and so suicidal. I don't know which uh, is going to win, but after this show, I definitely know what I'm going to be doing, and it's asphyxiation station. <laughs> now that I got this Stark joke out of the way. Um, something that really has excited me about the pandemic is that I've been asking the universe for time to get my to-do list done. I know I'm not the only one that probably has a to-do list that's like 17 years long. And now with this pandemic, I finally have all the time in the world to get my to-do list done, which is really exciting. And we're what, March, April, May, June, July, four months into the pandemic. And I still have my whole to-do list to do <laughs> plus to lose 15 pounds um I'm adding to it baby I'm just adding to it the other day I told my roommate because of course I'm obsessed with watching animals on Instagram who isn't um and I told my roommate that I wanted to steal this puppy that was on an Instagram post and her response was no Davina I know that's your mo in getting pets but you're not going to do that anymore and I'm like, I stole one snake and all of a sudden that's my M.O. You know what I'm saying? Because the two dogs I got off the street were rescues. You know, otherwise I've stolen one snake and two dogs and a mole that I saved from a cat's mouth when I was a kid. But um, I just like to save animals. I'm just here to make sure they have a better life than they did. Um, I've been told recently that my pussy is like America, better without the fuzz, so. <laughs> he was a pedophile, yes, I don't, I don't understand men that want women with completely soft, clear, like no vagina hair, vagina, like, ew, you know what I mean? Like, I want hair on your balls. I need to floss somehow, you know? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> never been good at flossing unless it's a pube. It's just my thing. It's how I do shit. Um, yeah, so don't let my short nails fool you because I am straight. And uh, <laughs> I can't even get myself off, which is something that has been, uh, it's been weighing on me for 39 years. I really, I give it up to you men for trying to work the vulva. They are difficult things. <laughs> uh, recently though, I started playing the ukulele and I realized that the reason I couldn't get myself off is that I didn't know my clit strum pattern. It's down, <laughs> down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. <laughs> 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 so I'm officially a clitorist and um, <laughs> while the majority of you are watching porn to get off I'm watching guitar tabs so <laughs> that's it for me guys over here from LA Woo! enjoy everybody thank you, Davina, joy. Thanks, uh, thank you by the way Davina uh, for calling me famous I appreciate that tip jar is open top right of the screen is our venmo you could paypal laugh from home.com or of course uh you could super chat on youtube uh i don't think venmo is back up yet we don't know yet but we'll we'll figure it out um by the way i thought that was impressive that uh apparently your strum pattern is also very similar to the to the contra code yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, do you, do you get off and get an extra life at the same time? That's pretty impressive. So. I do. I do. I got 10 of them. <laughs> Please tip me, guys, because my dad's Jewish and I want him to be proud. Thank you. Thank well, you well, so well. much. I also find two things very interesting. First of all, Bowers loved your said he was taking copious notes, especially during the moment when you talked about your strum pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Her notebook out. <laughs> 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 
And secondly, <laughs> I find it amazing that your strum pattern is Bruce Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark, the first song I learned on guitar. <laughs> oh. By the way, uh, when there, there are guitar books, uh, when uh, instead of teaching you the actual notes, it teaches you uh, chords that let you get by, and it's called a fake book. And so I think that's <laughs> fucking perfect. <laughs> Like if you're if you're strumming a bunch and you don't quite today. get the song, that's when you fake it. So yeah, that's I'm ordering it. It's in my Amazon list now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sad that I'll never be famous. <laughs> Did I say Steve is famous? I don't know. No, no, it's a big dick. Oh, I get it. Because his so, hangs out the car window, and I'm never going to be famous. So, Steve, I, but, I haven't had sex in a long time. Let's do this. I don't care anymore. <laughs> okay. uh, you can have Zoom sex like Ben does. It's, uh, like, <laughs> yes. Well, you yes. tell me where to touch myself, and I do it. Okay, I'm down. But, but, just, but, <laughs> nothing, nothing makes a man feel better when you go. I don't care anymore. Let's just fuck. Like that's not a. <laughs> I fuck Actually, anything, uh, even you, you gross monster. That's uh, how that horny was, I am. I fuck not you. Would, <laughs> not that I would stop anybody either. That wouldn't, wouldn't stop it. Anybody. By the oh, way, no, we're you, still doing it. We're still that, doing it, but we don't feel great about it. You point. notice that I took it as a joke and Bowers took it seriously. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, that's but also, before. did you notice that? that Bowers at least didn't take it as a personal compliment to his penis size that you expected <laughs> in a very weird place <laughs> to interpret that personally towards you? Uh, that was also, uh, that was a joke, Ben. My mic apparently is so bad, you don't even know what I'm fucking kidding anymore. That's the <laughs> I, think, I think the reason I bumped on that, guys, is because my first wife, that was foreplay, she would go, fine. And so I really like <laughs> that's still in my head. That, Which you know. I mean, Bowers, that makes sense. That's how she said yes to when you proposed as well. So, <laughs> so she proposed to herself. But same yes. mo, yeah. same mo. And, and on his wedding day, same thing on his wedding day. Yeah. <laughs> you take this man, fine. No, actually, I didn't want to get married, not her. But that's it. well, we both didn't want to marry. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I, by the time we got to the wedding, we knew it was going to be. We you're knew we were gonna... you're supposed to say I do, not I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have him take the death to his part part out of the fucking vows. That was not part of it. <laughs> she was like, so did there's a way out? out? <laughs> did you I remember suppose. Hours? What's that, Ben? Did you really do that? Yeah. I mean, I remember, I remember, I'm not kidding. I, I, by the time we got, I was 23. I was too much of a pussy to say, I don't want to do this. Right. Actually, that's not even true. A month before the wedding, I got drunk on whiskey and I was sort of like, I don't like you. You don't like me. We shouldn't get married. She took a glass pitcher. She swung it at my head. She stopped an inch friend. She goes, I will fucking murder you. My whole family and all my friends are coming. We're getting married. If we get divorced the next day, I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be a forensic file. So fuck it. Let's do it. And, uh, in the little groomsman room before my first wedding, I literally said to my, my guys, we're all in our tuxes. I go, and my next wedding, we're going to have a band. And they all laughed. And I go, I'm not kidding. They go, we know. That's why we're gambling. They sold me a square. So, Powers, which which one of the proposals was this? Was this the Zales one? This was the Zales one. Yeah, this was the, the one. That... So, so the proposal for those not in the know, the proposal was Bowers basically used like had her get the credit ba approval. Basi ba basically, what happened was. We got in a fight. She wanted to be engaged. I didn't really want to get engaged. I said, fine, fuck it. Let's go to the store right now. So we went to Zales in the mall in Muncie, <laughs> Indiana, next to the Sabaro. And I fucking applied for We picked out the biggest ring that that was the cheapest ring that she thought her friends would be impressed by. And then I applied for credit, didn't get it. So she applied for credit herself. <laughs> Wow. And the thing I don't understand about this story. And then when they handed the bag to her, she pulls out the ring box and she goes, if I'm going to pay for it, I'm not waiting another fucking minute. And she put it on her own finger, and that's when we were engaged. Oh, wow. oh my But God. I don't understand. Bowers, the thing that I got lost in, in this story is, and it didn't work out? <laughs> I didn't think it would work out then. I just thought it was my only option. I didn't think any anybody would ever love me. <laughs> want to do it. I didn't like her. She didn't like me. We just thought we were our only options. That's, you just did it so you could go to Sparrow's after. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> did you pay that? Did you pay off that tab though? Fuck no, 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 no. No, she paid off. That's, that's worse than my engagement you. story. Well, it's yours. <laughs> I uh, so I was living with with my girlfriend at the time, and I was staying there for free. So I was using that money to save up to buy a ring because when she was a doctor, she was doing a rotation. She stayed with me for free. So I was staying with her for free. I'd use that time to save up money to buy a ring. But she was like very nosy and wanted to know like everything I was doing with my money since I was staying there for free. And she just kept pressuring me and kept pressuring me and kept pressuring me. And then one day she was like, I want to know where all your money's going. So I went to the back. I got the ring. It's like, here's where my money's going. I slammed it on the table. And, um... <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, I love when an engagement's after a fucking fight. Yeah. When and it's then, like, fuck you, let's get married. Yeah. That's the no, we, we actually <laughs> we I, broke up. We broke up. We broke up. We broke up. I, I right actually then? Yeah, we didn't go through. I, we broke up. So right yeah, then you a, broke up? I have a yeah. very similar story. Um, wait, wait. I, I bought right. a ring and proposed like an adult. <laughs> oh, sorry. <my> story, <laughs> By the way, still didn't work out, dickhead. So Still yeah, divorced. Yeah, great lesson. Great lesson. Wait, my <laughs> one marriage lasted story more too. than your two, Bowers. Fuck off. Your what? I said my one marriage lasted more than your two. Ooh. What was your one marriage? Uh, five and a half years. Six for both total, dick. So <laughs> <laughs> In the total first. You should have had him tell you first. <laughs> and he went and he crosses the finish line in front of me by a hot dog. Damn. <laughs> well, Ready? good for you guys. I guess you all don't have a romantic bone in your body. My one engagement was after hanging out with a homeless man in a park in Amsterdam all night and then uh, bringing him back to our hotel room after doing all kinds of weird drugs all night and uh, using the gold ring that he gave us as a gift when we first met him as the ring. So, ha ha. Oh my God. Is it a cock ring? <laughs> I would just like to say we all just found out that Ben was engaged. <laughs> oh, really? I've got a story, too. What's oh. that? You got a story, too? Yeah, yours? so I, I got engaged uh, when I was like 22. My uh, ex had run a haunted house, and he was <laughs> sick while I was with some friends. We were going through the haunted house, and they could touch you, and they were pushing me and pulling me, and uh at one point i'm so scared and my friends had left i was by myself i'd started crying and he comes out with a ring as michael myers <laughs> with a michael myers mask on, so. <laughs> marry me bitch marry me <laughs> oh my god that's awesome <laughs> like, when are we getting married i don't know friday the 13th <laughs> wow. oh halloween yes. halloween it would be halloween <laughs> it was. It was. At least y'all have people love you enough to at least get engaged. I can't get a fucking boyfriend for the life of me. I'm like, what is this? How is Chris wait, wait. Bowers married multiple times and I'm single? <laughs> wait, Davina, in fairness, we're all just as not married as you are. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. But you've had the experience, no, which I is vomitable to me. Is Taylor, the only one who works on this show that's married? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, we've been together for 10 years. Oh, oh nice. Aww. And that's why he yells at me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I call statistics. <laughs> yeah, doesn't work. Do yeah, the, divor the divorce rate is uh, 54% unless you host a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's 90, then it's 90%. Wait, I have two follow-up questions. One for Rachel, did you get engaged then? Yeah, we got married. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. The default. I was young day. and dumb. How I long were you married? Be, uh, we were together, like five years. Wow. wow. Now, now, did you serve him divorce papers in the same haunted house? Like, was he alone? <laughs> <laughs> he came out and you were like, you were divorced. And he's like, ah, he cried. Hours. <laughs> anytime you get served divorce papers, it's in a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> For that. And then Mateen, when you threw, so you you took the you took the ring box and smashed it on the table. Did you mm -hmm. at least get engaged right there, or did it end right then? I was it was over. I mean, we 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 went through the steps, but it, that that was the last moment. I was like, this is not going to work. I just you walked still out. Went through. You still went through the steps. No, no, we went through the steps to trying to stay together, but it was over. It didn't what happen. Mean, we didn't get cast. married. Okay. Yeah, and then I then I only got like ten percent of what I paid for the ring. So it's all a sham, guys. Uh, oh yeah, rings are bullshit, dude. Rings yes, are, that, diamonds that's, are worthless. I, that's the biggest problem in my life, honestly. Like the only reason I, Chrissy, I mean, I, Chrissy doesn't want to get engaged, but but I and I would get married again because once you get divorced twice, who gives a fuck? But I was thinking that uh, like the thing that sucks is like I, as a man, I've been brought up to like she has to have this cool ring for me to like show off to people, but it's such a fucking bullshit scam. I can't bring yeah. myself to buy another one because you spend eight grand and they're worth fifteen hundred bucks. It's just terrible. Dude, propose to her with a used Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> At the same, same price. Same thing. Same price. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it has better resale value. Yeah, right? yeah. Just, I, just get down on one knee and then open a door to a Corolla. Yeah. I love How that you, you say, "I've been married twice, so who gives a fuck about a third one?" And then you say, "Chrissy doesn't want to marry you." I'm like, I wonder fucking why, Chris. You're like, who fucking cares? It doesn't even matter. Well, just, it, like you know, once you once you know you can get out of them, then yeah, I get married seven times. <laughs> Very I'll easy. Stay for you know, because you have no money to lose or 
yeah, it's part of it, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into Steve. Davina's tips. Let's wait, do wait, that. Wait, I have one My tips? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I heard something else. One you more question good. quickly for Steve. So how did you do it? You just asked straight up, but like was there some cool way you did it? I yeah, I actually I actually did. So we were in uh, we were in Sarasota uh, and we went to Lido Beach, which is like a gorgeous view. And I had um, a buddy who was in town. I had him go ahead in front of us, and uh, he wrote, um, "Will you marry me?" in the sand uh, on the beach uh, with her with her name. And uh, and so then we get there, and she like saw it, being like, "Oh look, someone's proposing." And then I got down on one knee. She turned around and realized it was me, even though it was like her name. She just thought someone else was being proposed to that had the same name. So uh, that, is that why you brought her to Sarasota? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, by the way, everybody, her name is Soda. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I love so, it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I proposed, and uh, and she said, yeah, it was it was uh, it was very romantic, and still didn't work out. Yes, what an elaborate plan! I love how you did that one thing where your friend just used his finger in the sand for ten seconds. Really well. <laughs> it was written very, very large. All right, it took about an hour. It was oh, very, oh, it was oh. Very, Steve, very... Steve used his dick. He was just ten minutes ahead of him. And, him and... <laughs> oh yeah. His limp dick. <laughs> Damn, Steve. It was hard. It was yeah. It was hard to uh, hard to dig with with all the shells. You know, you get it's there's oh, a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. difficult. I also wonder if maybe technically she was engaged to your friend after that because. <laughs> <laughs> also, by the way, Ben, as someone apparently who proposed with the ring that you got off a homeless man in Amsterdam, yeah. don't fuck with how I proposed. Don't tell me that the way I proposed was not good. You you proposed with a homeless crackerjack box. <laughs> But at least I didn't think mine was good. Until the very end of that story, I thought you were going to engage to the homeless man. Like, that's really the way the story was going. I'm like, engage the homeless man and Amsterdam on a bunch of drugs? Because I can see you doing that. Like, you know. My ex got engaged to my friend. Ben got engaged to the homeless man. And uh, Bowers' his ex got engaged to herself. <laughs> well, my second wife did marry my best friend. But that's all. That's all. I was in their wedding. So that's neither. Oh, that's, nice. I yeah. wonder if. I wonder if when Bowers proposes, he likes to do it at a right angle, typically. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's get, All right. To, let's get to the penis. We've got a lot to catch up on. So we, oh, uh, Venmo's back, by the way. So I've been seeing some of those come in. So thank you, guys. Um, and I'm catching up. Uh, so we've got a lot of tips to catch up on. Um, so we've got this for Davina. Courtney, $10 for each comedian um ten dollars to the show i just tuned in because i slept in but this show only books great people so i'm looking forward to watching this again later on and i'm sure i will not regret pre-tipping if i don't know uh, <laughs> i love you guys nice awesome uh, Tam you can by the way fast bucks. forward through the first 10 minutes or so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tam tipped five bucks for Davina. Thank you. Technics, uh, two Canadian. Davina, you need to floss somehow. <laughs> <laughs> we had Peter Amsel from <laughs> Canada. When you made, when you told that joke, Davina, my, I literally went <gasps> like this. Yeah, <laughs> you know when you, and you can't get it, like you can't get it. It's the worst feeling the worst. ever. I love pubes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look at my hair. I have to. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, we have Peter Amsel, seven Canadian Davina, great set from a ukulele player. <laughs> oh yay! Nice. We've got Heather, five dollars for Davina. Buy yourself a good vibrator. They're way better than men. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I have oh, the God. same one that Omid Singh has with his girlfriend. I was watching that episode. <laughs> Dude, that thing sucks. Your clit and it. Oh, I don't need it. I definitely. You mean the same model, not the exact same one. The yeah. would not the exact same one. The yeah, exact same, same model. Yeah, they, absolutely. Oh, it's, it's, it's mail it back and forth and some sort of Viber exchange program. Mm -hmm. You just send it back. Yeah, during COVID, especially, you gotta clean that shit. Yeah. Bauer started taking furious notes again. Also, <laughs> <laughs> suck on the clip. Got it. Suck clip. Got it. Suck. I even do that while suck. standing up, Bowers. Sorry, right. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> what? 
Uh, Zara <laughs> tipped uh, Davina $10. Miss you, Zara. Uh, she said, thank you for the literal fingering tutorial. Between that and finding out that Bowers and I have the same cup size, I'm learning a lot today and it's not even 9 a.m. That's hilarious. <laughs> also, apparently, uh, on the people's dating profile, they should just show a gif of them playing Thunderstruck by ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> Man only has one mug, I have two cups. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got my doggy here too, Ben. Oh, cute. What's your dog's name? Aww. Hartley. Hartley Beats. We're showing dogs. Hartley Beats. She's That's also cool. my boyfriend, so. <laughs> <laughs> She's well, she boyfriend. was French kissing you, so that makes sense. <laughs> yes. Henry, look, it's another dog. Look, horse. You see? Well, What's that's your dog's name, Ben? Oh, my God. There it is. You see horse? His name is Horse. Horse? His name is Henry Horse. Look, I, I have a dog too. Henry. You see the dog? He's afraid. Oh. Shy. <laughs> I got a dog. Yeah. I have a dog. It looks like a window, but it's a dog. Tam, dog. I don't love love. Like, I don't do sex with my dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just so you know. I'm not that desperate yet, but I'm not putting anything past me. And no. Tam in the comments yeah, um, for, for those who aren't on in the uh, lives or in the uh, front row. Tam said it's okay to love your pet, just don't love your pet. So. <laughs> As a dog, I just eat dog. No matter how much she tries to persuade me, I'm not going that route. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rachel, what else do we got? All right, well, a lot. That lane boy, five pounds. Davina, you sound like you need a device for self pressure or a really cheap date. <laughs> oh. uh, Andrea tipped uh, Mateen and Davina $10 each. Thank you. We've got Frank Nataro, $5 for Davina. Uh, Razor, $5. Davina, don't listen to Bowers. We see an eye roll and a whatever let's go as a home run. <laughs> <laughs> we also Look, had... sometimes it's an inside the park home run, but you still get on the board. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Dog lick it, dog. Okay. I can't. With the dogs. <laughs> we also had um, Jess in our live audience, twenty-five dollars. Davina Wang Chung is how guitar strumming used to be described in medi medieval times. Ooh, I like Wang. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Tyler Stevens, ten dollars. Uh, ten dollars for uh, Davina. Ten dollars for. Mateen, and I think $10 for the show. We also nice, had you. Heather, $5 for Mateen. We had... Um, I think we need tips to literally send a, a male stripper over to Davina's house. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys tip in ones? Well, he's not going to be a stripper for long. She's going to make him into a hooker real fast. Real fast. <laughs> real. Oh, she's... Uh, I, I Michelle... Literally... These are such wild times. I've been literally thinking several, many times during this quarantine, I wonder if I could start an OnlyFans page. What would I be comfortable doing and what would people pay for? A lot of comments <laughs> are doing it, man. I'm trying to make money it. off my feet. They're just small and cute and I feel like I should be making a, money <laughs> off of them. Hey, Davina, I'm going to send you an article. Uh, it, it's very insightful. On how, how to make the, money off yeah. feet? Okay, cool, cool, well, cool. By the I way, Googled it. Is, uh, <laughs> After Davina did that, we actually just got re-monetized on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. I have I have I have I have two follow-up questions yet again. One are are male comedians doing that? <laughs> that is really interesting. <laughs> and B, uh Davina, did we see a, a a man's hairy leg when the camera panned down there? Uh, probably my dog, man. Oh, my God. dog girl. Yeah. I wish there was, if there was a man in my room, I wouldn't be on this call. I'll tell you that, right? She would, she would be getting a lot more tips. <laughs> not, not just I the would tip. be, more I'd be just yes, tip. yes, Annie in a blow job. I don't know how I'm single. I give good head, but I talk too much and I've got to learn to stop that. Well, I mean, well, I certainly really not recommend during. not talking too much during blow jobs. <laughs> no, but you, it's But if you can, before. Davina, you should really do a ventriloquist act if you're able to do that. <laughs> that's the only over thing. Jeff Dunham. Oh my <laughs> God. Taking over the world, Davina Joy brings joy to audiences one at a time. It's Davina touring with Jeff Dunham. <laughs> <laughs> nice. She has a, yeah, oh, she has a jalapeno on a dick. 
Knock. Who's there? Okay, Ben gives terrible head. Jesus. That's my impression of Helen uh, Keller. <laughs> All right, Rachel, what do we got? We've got Jenny Wheaton, $5 for Davina for our mutual good taste in vibrators. <laughs> thank you. We had Michelle tip Mateen 10 bucks. So thanks, Michelle. And then uh, some general Shannon Kerr, $5 for Ben, because I've spent the whole day legit learning how to dance, learning how to sing Dancing in the Dark as a new karaoke song. Nice. <laughs> Very good and when you then, got that Courtney Cox, you know? And then Alex, uh, long last name, tipped the show twice. $3.50. <laughs> <laughs> really long. Alex, Alex long last name. Korzenowski. It's pronounced long last name. Long last name. Long last name. Long last name. Well, he said, <laughs> whoever made the cock ring zinger after the homeless dude in Amsterdam bit and stripper fund. <laughs> that's Bowers. That was Bowers. That was yeah. my idea. That's well, I told the most romantic story of my life and Bowers like, wasn't a cock ring? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I and also realized that, 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 that if Rachel ever did marry someone and take their last name and it was hard to pronounce, she would just call him, I'm Rachel, long last name. I'm not going to fucking even get into this guy's thing. <laughs> Yeah, if it was real long. But Gallagher's long. It's just... Is that why you changed Gallagher to Gregory? No, Gregory's my married name, unfortunately. Oh, that's why. Because so, I was uh, wondering, because I was like, did you shorten your own name? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Also, it's not Gallagher. It's Gayag hair. Yeah. <laughs> Gaia got a hair in my tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Recall. All right, so so we're caught up, huh? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> She's not kidding. She's been alone Somebody, a while. Jesus Christ. Somebody, God. please go on. fuck Davina. Please go fuck her. <laughs> going, Somebody. I'm going to message Steve your address. <laughs> but you have to be really fucking hot. Like I'm Steve. Oh, or Steve famous. Or famous. Or famous. Stop it. Okay. Or famous. Okay. Yeah. Or have a big dick. Steve is tall. Tall is hot. So. Well, I appreciate that, but we're going to keep the show professional. Rachel, what do we have? <laughs> we're going to keep the show professional up, right? since when? I always since when? get denied. <laughs> Look, Davina, I, I just figured out your problem. You've got a case of the standards. Yeah, you're, you're I gonna know. Get, you're never I gonna know. That. Come on. <laughs> I know, Chris Bowers. I am very Chris, aware. she just complimented me. She does not have a case of the standards. <laughs> by the way, by oh, the way, she she'd do anything. That's your compliment. What you say, uh, Davina, Davina, just to give you a little visualization here, um, if I may, uh, Steve does the show in his bedroom. That's his headboard, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> looks like mine. It looks like mine. That's uh, ridiculous. The fact that he has his that own name on his headboard is the most Steve Hofstetter thing of all time. <laughs> ben. My headboard has a mirror and my logo. Come on. <laughs> Text four eight four eight four eight for an orgasm. <laughs> I'm doing that now. And a wedding ring. Uh, uh, I've been actually corrected. So Zara uh, has told me that I keep ma mispronouncing my name. It's Rachel Bending. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. You all will be invited to the wedding. Um, oh, and yeah. then Alex, long last name, took the show $5. And last said, name. Long leg like May Lane said, forgetting my name right the first time. So I don't know if that's a long last name or if I tried to pronounce Korsnowski, which doesn't sound right, but maybe. Korsnowski sounds like a cool dude. I'd, drink, I'd hang out with a Korsnowski. Of course you would. Just because Kors is in his name. Well, yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> Are we caught up, Rach? Let's do the game. Let's do the game. Do the game. All right. So the game today is what could, what else could go wrong? So what are some headlines that we might see for the later part of 2020? So I'm going to read a couple of the unpaid entries, and then I'll go to the audience, and we start voting from the audience entries onto the YouTube one. So I liked Raz's text 484848 if you want to find out what's going to happen next. <laughs> like Bowers said to orgasm but sorry go ahead <laughs> and then uh, Chris Jacobs 
the Corin team lets Rachel read the super chats without 10 minute interruptions in between. <laughs> <laughs> now, That's we said happen. things that might happen. <laughs> 2020, not the literal end of the world. Yeah, come on. <laughs> hell, is, hell is not freezing over yet. Come Didn't on. the Mayans predict that? <laughs> That's right. And then Amina Sala, Steve Hofstetter is announced as Kanye West press secretary. <laughs> <laughs> to Tam. South African born Elon Musk will run for president because fuck the Constitution. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jessica. Good call. Hi. Um, I was thinking about Kanye too, so wouldn't it be funny if he actually won? <laughs> I love Kanye is one dressed. word to describe it, for sure. I like your, <laughs> I like your uh, mannequin meat, mannequins wearing meat dresses back there. Is that a Gaga homage? No, uh, just turn well, me off. I think Gaga's dress is an homage, uh, actually. This was for Chris's uh, background, but I guess shitty back, shitty Wi-Fi on that patio. So the vintage ladies didn't get to come to your party. So I took a picture for you. Nice. So this is going to be the nice. Love it. Meet ladies. Nice. <laughs> meet bikinis. Meet bikinis. Meet bikinis. I, I would buy a meet bikini for somebody. <laughs> meet yeah. curtains. Oh, by the way, thought of it. Uh, uh, my buddy Tony came up with the best when I did the the suit in the pool, and we said it, I said it was a pool seato, and then T Steve said it was a it was, Steve said it was a, a swim suit. My buddy Tony, it's 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 called a tuxpedo, so I think that's what's going to mm. be <laughs> fucking brilliant. So I think what I, yeah, I'm going to wear a tuxpedo eventually. When ba when Bowers texted that to me, my reaction was in all caps to just say, "God damn it!" Just because I didn't think of it. Right, like it was, it was just perfect. one of those things where I'm like, "That was too good." Uh, we had somebody in the YouTube chat change their name to Chris Short Last Name. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Chris Asmo, but I don't know. <laughs> nice. Um, Frank, did you want to do yours? Did you want to? Uh, I didn't any? have one. Okay, cool. All right, so these are the YouTube ones that I like, or maybe a couple of Venmo that came in. All right, Amina Sala. Trump is asked, "How much more can you possibly fuck up our country?" And he takes it as a challenge rather than a rhetorical question. <laughs> I think that happened in 2017. <laughs> uh, Chris Jacob, Florida man seen actually wearing a mask in crowded spaces. <laughs> <laughs> That's the winner. Right now. Uh, Renee Hutchinson. Karen elected president on live, love, laugh, <laughs> live, love, laugh platform becomes drunk with power now that she's the manager of America. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Plastic and plush had COVID-20 going strong. <laughs> oh. Randy. Dark stock market surges amid COVID-linked zombie invasion after Kanye brings holy water to the market. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Day, Bowers goes vegan. <laughs> Which, by the way, still more likely than us letting Rachel get through all the tips without interrupting. <laughs> 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 That's so true. Uh, Razor. Coming in late 2020, the Glebe touch-free massage, the Howard Stern package includes laying on a subwoofer and turning it on full blast while Ben comes <laughs> into the mic at different frequencies. <laughs> I'll take that. Stop it, you're giving Davina <laughs> needs. <laughs> Sounds like my Saturday night. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Day. The people vote on which national natural disaster comes next. Avalanche wins in a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Jeremy Day. That's too good. <laughs> good. Uh, Gus. Trump reelected. <laughs> We said not too depressing. <laughs> Andrea Gordon. 
Ruth Bader Ginsburg gets injured doing burpees in her home and it's discovered she's been sleeping with Kavanaugh's buddy, buddy Squee and she has Confederate flags for bed sheets. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 right. Oh, my God. The last one. Uh, Dateline, November. 45 pardons Thanksgiving turkey. Turkey chases a squealing 45 across White House lawn and pecks out his eyes. <laughs> so that's what could go right. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I would, I would, no, but then I mean, he still, well, I guess. He would still be in the White House. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. Uh, well, if he right, was blind, it. at least maybe he would treat all races equally. Mm. By accident. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That, those are all of them. Awesome. All right. So uh, we're going to vote. Uh, let's see. I liked a lot of them. Florida Man was funny. Karen's laugh was funny. I'm never going to be. I'm going to the Ben Massage one. I think that's pretty fun. The sub laying on the subwoofer and the, the kazoo sound. That was all good. I like the Ben Massage one. That's what I'm going with. Uh, Davina, what was your favorite one? Uh, the Karen one is funny, but the avalanche winds and the landslides really funny too. Karen's so topical. I'll go with Karen. All right. Mateen. I like Florida man. That's, that's, that was, that, <laughs> one, that, that hit my soul. That hit my soul. <laughs> All right. Anybody's public. game. Ben, who's your vote? Lower. You said lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. One second. Um, I loved Florida Man, but I have to go with the alternate reality surprise reveal of the real Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> the, yes. the Confederate flag blankets. That is very imaginative. And I could this year would not surprise me if that happened. So that's my vote. Steve. I oh, did sorry, Rachel. Rachel. Yeah, I'm sorry, Rachel. My bad. No. Uh, so I'm gonna agree with Mateen and say Florida Man seen actually wearing a mask in crowded spaces. All yeah. right. I, uh, I, I, I mean, this is a tough one. I think I'm going to go for the uh, second most unbelievable one. Because the most unbelievable one was that we stopped interrupting Rachel. But the most unbelievable one has got to be Florida man wearing a mask in crowded space. That's never going to fucking happen. Uh, so that is the, that's the winner. I think you got three votes, right? Yep. Yeah. That yeah. is the winner. Uh, cool. To claim your prize, go to laughfromhome.com and shoot us an email. And uh, and and claim your prize. Cool. So, comics. Did you have any? Mateen, did you have any? Davina, did you have any? Oh, I I I, I didn't. I, I forgot no that I was supposed to do one. No, no problem at all. Davina, no, I didn't. didn't. I've all right. been trying. No big deal. Rach, you got anyone? Nope. I don't either. So, uh, <laughs> Ben, Steve, you got nine each, or what's that? I, uh, I don't. Cause, yeah, I, I don't have a ton. I, I only have one. one. Oh, okay. Have one. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, mine is just that uh, someone who doesn't show up for sound checks somehow has better sound than I do. <laughs> <laughs> a moment I've been waiting for for a very long time, by the way. <laughs> oh, I just I just thought of one. And uh, uh, Mateen has one. What you got? Uh, Mateen has to give dad third intervention. Um... <laughs> 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 and my one surprise headline for 2020, I uh, wouldn't be surprised, honestly, the way this year is going. Ben Glebe elected president in landslide. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually that? say uh, Ben Glebe elected president due to landslide while all other candidates were skiing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what Steve suggested for our first press release, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we did it. We made it to the end of another episode. We had a lot of fun. Uh, Davina, where can we find you at? Give us your social medias and all that good stuff. Um, on Twitter at the Davina Joy, and there's also at Naked and Serious, as well as Instagram is at the smallest fat girl is my personal one, and at Naked and Serious as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I hope you get late. Thanks, guys. Me uh, too. <laughs> Mateen, where do we find you at, buddy? Uh, I am at Mateen Stewart on all platforms, but also check out my podcast. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Like a Virgin Podcast. That's it. Very cool. 
Uh, at Bowers Comedy for me, and I'll put up the link at on my Twitter and Instagram. But uh, we had a uh, I've got a new podcast coming out called Doc Heads, where me and my buddy Todd McComas talk about documentaries. Uh, we did the Abducted in Plain Sight this week; it dropped today. Uh, Doc Heads, D O C Heads. Uh, check that out anywhere you can find podcasts, and I'll give you details on how to find the next one, which is going to be we, today. We did the Fire Festival, so uh, or the Fire one on Netflix. So we've that we review documentaries and have a lot of fun. So check that out, uh, Ben. You can also find Bowers, by the way, most nights at a 90 degree angle from his girlfriend. <laughs> the keyword is most nights, Ben. I, I love the idea that some people 69 and Bowers and Chrissy T square. <laughs> hey, yeah. Um, it's, it's a great way to, to dice watermelons. <laughs> I can tell you the I can tell you the actual technique with having a gut and it sits in the right spot and then if you wiggle and it doesn't matter. Okay, Ben. Okay, and we're out of time. Our show's out of time. <laughs> YouTube is just demonetized, deplatformed, and de begged us to stop talking. <laughs> uh, you can get tickets to my You're the Game Show, where everyone who gets a ticket is a contestant on the game show at Nowhere Comedy Club with a chance to win cash and prizes, a brand new format I'm unveiling on July 15th at Nowhere Comedy Club, tickets at the website. And, uh, you know, that's really all. You can also watch me here on SDSC. I plan to watch it at some point as well. <laughs> By the way, if you want to see uh, if you want to see Bowers having sex in that position, there's a video on my YouTube. It's called Comedian Destroys Appetite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, if you want to see some of my shows coming up, I've got a couple shows coming up at Nowhere Comedy Club. I got a full headlining set at the end of the month. Um, but also I have uh, that Steve Garvey and Bob Costas show, um, as well as my director's commentary, uh, where I do a behind the scenes of Ginger Kid. Um, and of course, every Saturday night with Daniel Muggleton, uh, Ask Us Anything. Uh, check out those shows. Uh, they've been growing and they've been super fun. Uh, so uh, so check those out at NowhereComedyClub.com. Cool. Rachel, we got anything to catch up on before we get out of here? We do. Uh, we had a funny, uh, Ron Gould had a, he said, this is Bowers to Chrissy. Do you want this perpendicular? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> Bowers puts the peculiar in perpendicular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ron, that was great. Uh, <laughs> We also had Steve Gorak, two dollars for the show, and is uh, he said I shipped Rayra first, so Zara and mine's uh, what is what do you call that? A couple name? Uh, couple name, yes. Yeah, so he likes Rayra. Rayra, I like that one too. All right, cool. Well, audience, thanks so much. We love you. Appreciate you being here yet again. You are the lifeblood, as we always say. We love you, and we will see you tomorrow as well. We will see you tomorrow, Rachel. Thank you so much. See you guys. Um, yeah. And uh, I just want to end on a kind of a serious note. We make fun of me a lot, um, and that's cool. I have no problem with that. But uh, I am fat, but I don't have tits. Actually, I don't have any cups. I, 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 I they're totally normal size. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. And uh, as for me, I just want to let you guys know that uh, Bowers does not have tits. So, <laughs> there's a PSA. For anyone who has uh, said otherwise, uh, we just want to make sure I would like that. I to say I do have tits. They're small, but I have tits. Okay. Bye. <laughs> As someone quarantined alone for four months, I have no one's tits whatsoever. Um, so, as far as I'm concerned, Bowers, you look great. Uh, your tits look great, Bowers. So this is the weirdest way I've ever ended my part of the show. <laughs> I'm going to shut off this bad microphone. Uh, <laughs> well, I just wanted to say two things. One <laughs> is uh, I actually do have tits. You can see right there's one of them. <laughs> right there's another one of them. And those of you at home who are saying, wait a minute, but doesn't Ben just use face masks on this show? Yeah, I guess that's true. And so um, <laughs> that's a fair point. Uh I'm gonna. I wonder why. I, can we end earlier? <laughs> What's, in the, What's in the robe? What's in between your tits? <laughs> <laughs>